Hey everybody, this is Phil Kohler. I'm being joined by Andrew Reiner. Hey Phil. And we are checking out Dead Space 2. I completed this game three weeks ago. Yes, you have already played this game. This was 2010 for me. You have written a review for this game. This is my first time playing it. I'm a big fan of the original. I liked the original a lot. I'm a part of your future, and you're a part of my past. You're freaking me out. Also bumming me out a little bit. <laughs> All right, so it picks up pretty much where the last game left off. If you played the Xbox Live downloadable game, uh, uh, ignition. ignition, you'll have a little better idea of the setup here. Okay. But as you remember from the end of the first game, Isaac survived, and here's where we are. Sure. I remember hearing that ignition was terrible. Yes. Right. I would avoid it like the plague. So we don't need to play that. He needs to shave. He doesn't shave the entire game. It kind of bummed me out. I'm kind of scared right now. It would have been nice to have like the Deadly Premonition shaving minigame. Yeah, that was one of the best parts of Deadly Premonition. It's kind of a cool way to set up the, the credits here. I like it when they, they tie it in with the uh, the beginning of the game. Yeah, I agree. Apparently Comcast sucks in the future, too. I think that's uh, AT&T. He was using his iPhone, actually. Ah. FaceTime is what they call that. Now, one of the cool things about the story in this game is... Isaac's losing his mind. He mm -hmm. He's infected. He's kind of going crazy. As you can see, he's seeing visions as he's talking to this guy. Yeah. But pay close attention to your environment and the things going on. Like, there's a Rubik's Cube there on the table, but as you can see, it's the colors of the marker. Yeah. And then, look, there's the model of Ishimura. Um, can't really make out what the, the drawing is, the ink blot test that they're trying to show us there, but... Yeah, pay close attention throughout the whole game. They do some cool stuff visually. All right. You were part of the repair mission. A mission for which you volunteered, am I right? So overall, you were a pretty big fan of this game. Yep. So he's he's locked up right now. He's gone insane. So they have him. They're doing all sorts of tests on him. They want to know about the marker. They want to know what's going on. What, they, what he saw on the issue yes. all that stuff. That's scary. What did it say, Isaac? I'm scared. What did it say to you, but that's his, that's his lady. This may be the first Reiner and Phil where I wet myself <laughs> on air. <laughs> See, now I'm just, it's not scary for me anymore, so I'm just watching you. Yeah. You guys are waiting for me to scream. Isaac, Will this be weird if I'm just watching you the whole time and not the screen? I mean, I'm. Damn. it's a little weird, yeah. <laughs> You're an intimidating man, Reiner. Was this in game? Yeah, this is nice, in game. Nice well, visuals just, are in engine. That's the thing. Uh, a lot of it's like Uncharted 2, where you want to keep your hand on the controller at all times. Phil, keep sure. your hand on the controller. Okay, sorry. Sorry about that. As stuff just starts happening. Well, what? What is. That's not what he wanted to happen at all. Go! Get out of there, Phil! What? How? I can't move yet. Oh, Phil. Get out of there, Phil. I, they're go. not letting now me... Go, go, okay, go, 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 now go, go. I can. You're making this worse than <laughs> it would be. Whoa. Oh, man, I wouldn't have gone that way. What? Uh, oh. Wow. This is... Well, that's probably the fastest death that we've had. If you're in an earthquake, do you run toward the cracks? Sometimes. <laughs> I've never been in an earthquake. Have you? Uh, no, I haven't. Wait, where am I supposed to go then? What? Oh, boy. Yeah, down there. Think football player running back. What is football? <laughs> They just kind of throw you right into things, huh? And that's another thing I'll point out. It's a lot harder than the first game. Uh, yes. They definitely made it for Dead Space fans of the I wanted, first game. I wanted to mention that because I remember a, por a point when you were reviewing the game. Whoa. 
Yeah, all sorts of little interactive moments like this that are scripted, which are totally awesome. That was pretty awesome. I remember a point when, when we were when you were playing the game where you uh, you seemed pretty frustrated. I lost my mind, man. I seriously did. Like, there's an elevator ride in this game, and this isn't a spoiler or anything, so I, but they just kept uh, dropping necromorphs on me, and I was out of ammo, and it was it was a bad situation. And I mean, you're also not good at video games. People people may not know yeah. that. Yeah, and you have to play the entire game this way. By the way, you never get a weapon. You're always taped up like this. That would be. Interesting. It's kind of weird. It's more like an art piece than an actual game. <laughs> that was a that's a surprising direction that they went in with that. Not what I expected. And you're in rough shape. Don't worry, everything will be fine now. All right, if you say so. Uh, uh, I don't think they figured things out yet. Ah, he'll be okay. Should I, should Why, I look see, up there? Again, you're going toward the crack. Why? Should I see what's up? No, just go. Do you think I could help him? Do you think I could? With what? Is there what a you, jump with button? With your left foot? What is are you Is there a do? jump button? There he is. Well. Looks like a predator nice got to him. You. He took his spine. Can I get coffee? Can I do anything in here? It'd be they cool if it worked with connect or move where you had to use your mouth. You need to let us that pour was your some control. orange juice. You had to like pick up a pencil with your mouth. <laughs> and that's what you fight with? Yeah. All right. You spit it or... I could see this working. Use it like a sword, a mouth sword. This is the observation room, so I'd, I assume that I can go in here and just chill, right? Yeah. Well, that was pretty much all the excitement in the game. Not you. Not much else that happens. No. Now you you have to walk like Oof. 15 miles like this. That is a mess. Uh, I'm glad that I'm not playing the janitor. And there's some notes down there. Obviously, you want to pay attention to whoa, whoa, the what? words people are scribbling. Yeah. All sorts of clues. Very lost like in how they un unravel this story. Also in the the soundtrack, as you were pointing out. Yeah, the soundtrack's very lost like as well. Just kind of weird ambience. Um, always putting you on nerves. There's always something in the soundtrack that, that uh, kind of plays off your, your tension. It was black. Oh. Deep black and glowing yeah, so they have videos in the environments now, and this will loop, so you can watch the whole thing. That's kind of cool. It gives you a little backstory on what's going on here. Notice that little flashing thing on my back. That's my health, right? Like in the yes. first game? Yep. I'm not doing too well. My health is not, nice. not looking good. I'm going to move on. All right. Nicely done. You success successfully navigated a hallway without taking on damage. Yet. Hopefully they'll make me walk back through there and I'll die. What? Everything is okay. He's your friend. Come on, man. He kind of broke the fourth wall right there. He looked at us. This guy... This guy doesn't seem... Sane entirely. We can both get out of here. Just, just cut me out of the straitjacket. Hmm? So, what do you think is going to happen here, Phil? What? Fooled you. I don't understand what happened. He cut your hands, man. So you're free. So is there a lot of uh, interaction with other characters in this one? A ton. A ton of moments like this, like you'll just be kind of playing, and then something will happen unexpected. Okay. And that's that Uncharted 2 thing. Like, obviously you're not controlling this part right here, but I know certain sequences you will be playing it, and it's out of control, the action's way over the top. Because you're in a more, like a bigger, like more occupied area in this one, right? Correct. Yeah, you're, you're on the... In the first game, you're on the space station, uh, or the mining vessel, I should say, Ishimura. Yeah. Uh, and they had some experiments on there, and like labs oh and stuff like that. But Oh boy. Um, How do you just keep talking while that happens? What'd you do, man? I didn't... I don't think I did it. Well... That was gross. I don't think he's alright. <laughs> but you're now on the Sprawl, which is this giant space station on one of Saturn's moons. 
lot of story here. I feel bad talking over it, but you should all play it for yourselves. It's a yeah, great game. Yeah. Uh, but the, the cool thing about the sprawl is it's kind of like a fully isolated human habitat. And what that means is that families live there. There's shopping districts. You know, people are trying to make a living. Mm -hmm. There's uh, nurseries for children and infants. There's uh, religious areas like uh, churches. And knowing visceral, there's a... Uh Nurseries for children and infants. There's, there's probably going to be some baby monsters. Well, they had babies in the first one yeah. that were experimented on, but now you're going to see infants, like newborn babies that uh, are absolutely terrifying. And that's all I'll say to, oh, to what they are. Okay. Uh, but you won't see it in this demo that we're showing you today, but as you get further into the game, you're going to see... You're going to enter environments that are friendly, like there's bright colors, very... Kind of out of the ordinary for the Dead Space franchise. Yeah. Um, and very welcoming. They kind of put you at ease, but all the same terrible stuff happens in them. All right. Stuff bursts through walls. I like that. That's cool. The gore is is over the top. And that's one thing I, I really enjoyed about, uh, about playing this game was just letting Isaac die whenever I saw a new enemy type. It's almost like watching Mortal Kombat Fatalities. Uh, it's uh, uh Yeah, pay attention noon. here. This is another clue. It's 12 o'clock. Of some sort. Here's your walker, man. I'm an old man. I do need that. I also like... I mean, they, these guys do a really good job at just the visual, like, hey, that's red, so even from far away I can tell, like, I don't go in that door. Correct. It's a little annoying, in my opinion, that everything's green, green red. Kind of reminds me of... Uh, what was the last Doom game? Was that Doom 3 or 4? Is this a save station? Yes. I don't need to actually save. All right. So were you a fan of the first one, Phil? Yeah, I really liked the first one. It, w it was one of those games where, and I think it, this was the case for a lot of people, when it was announced, it sounded a little bit generic. It didn't necessarily look great uh, until... Right before it came out, I think it started showing really well. And then uh, it came out and really surprised me with just how good it was. All right. Whoa, whoa. This is one of the things that's happening to Isaac throughout the entire game. Uh, the virus is, is taking hold of his mind and his sanity. So he starts hallucinating. And whoa. it, it kind of leads you to a point where you think, is he really killing necromorphs? Is he... Could he possibly just be harming, like, human beings? Yeah. Uh, is this all just, like, in his mind? Is he sleeping somewhere? Is he still chained up somewhere? Like, very Alan Wake. Yeah. Kind of in how they how they present this tale. He's crawling through the vents. Oh, yeah. all right. Hey, what are you up to, sir? That doesn't look comfortable. What am I doing? Just a cool little cutscene. Makeshift weapon. This is one of the cool things I like too about. Uh, don't don't. What? That guy might still be alive, dude. That was terrible. You're a horrible person. I don't think he's alive anymore. No, I don't. I don't. <laughs> but I think I. I think I really upset Ben. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna hold on to this. Yeah, but this is a new thing. You can impale things, which is a lot of fun. Yeah. So the first game, it was all about cutting off limbs, and I'm. I'm assuming that's still a part of it. That's still a huge part of it. But now you can also impale things. Yep. And you could pretty much throw anything you want in the environment, and. Uh, Do I need to? Try to stagger your foes, so to speak, or take them out completely. Uh, I think if you hit the back button... There we go. Can I get through this? No. No. Great. I think you have the right idea, though. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's see if this works. Yeah, Boom. awesome. Nicely done. You're a horrible person. Oh, boy. Oh, this is karma. Oh, boy. Yeah, so you just have a flashlight right now, right? Yes. 
But I have these. And that... as, as I was saying earlier, like Uncharted 2, they just kind of threw you into the fire. They kind of do that in this as well. And I like how they un the tutorial unfolds, where it's more a part of the adventure. It doesn't yeah. feel forced on you like, yeah, this does not feel, like most games. This does not feel like a lengthy tutorial mission at all. I feel like the first game was pretty good about that as well, though. Yep. There you go. All right. Uh, you're now in the yellow. And yeah, the they're not getting my my health up very quickly. All right. Oh boy. What? And there's always necromorphs jumping down or breaking through walls. I got a body, and I will use it. Oh, nice. What? It's a knockback. You need, like, a, a sharp object. Oh, no, Phil. I'm a little worried. I'm a little worried about this. At least you're not running toward the danger this time. I still might. Oh, boy. See? So that shelving broke and created oh, a bunch of what? pieces that you could I throw am... individually. I'm not doing so well here. So you can use health packs on the fly. Uh, you can also... Your uh, your force power, I can't remember what it's called. You can re replenish that when you get it. Did I get, did I get money there? Yeah. Yeah, same economy from the first game. All right. For uh, buying stuff from the stores. Just seems like a weird time to worry about getting cash. Yeah, that's the one thing I find weird about their fiction is that they just have these weapon shops everywhere on the space station in this, you know, human oh, habitat. Right. So I'm going to stomp on a guy. All right. Great. My favorite boot stomp ever in video games from Dead Space is back and better than ever. Like you. You're a violent person. I'm really scaring Ben. That got you 600 bucks, though. <laughs> well, that's why I do. I mean, that's that's why you do violent acts in video games. All right. So video games teach us. Ignore the screaming person, Phil. Continue your pursuit of <laughs> of riches. What do you? Do you not look around all the environments? Well, if there's a guy stuff? screaming on like a operation table, I go, I go see what's going on first. Ah, oh, fine. He's fine. He looks fine. There, uh, there's not even any poles for me to throw at that guy. What do you want me to do? <laughs> About time. Hi. Jesus, man. Help me. <laughs> hold on. My thoughts exactly, dude. I'm going to just point my light at him. This is not a gun, though. So I can't you, do anything. I wonder you. if you could kill him right here. Thank God. Please, come help me. Calm down. I'll cut you out of there. Is that do a I have to? A plasma cutter? Hmm? Oh, my God. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Oh, shit. Help! He's talking to you. He doesn't need to swear. That's just mean. Uncalled for. And now you have your trademark weapon here. And it has the alt fire. What is the alt fire again? That's RB. You... I don't I don't know what that is. Or R1, I guess. Sorry. You're on PlayStation 3. Oh. This is uh not going so well. So the goal is to not get hit by that. What? And there you go. Stomp him. Nice. Good idea. Do you know they're dead when money pops out of them? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I am almost out of uh, almost out of ammo here. That is uh, that is this entire game. Not a lot of ammo. Not a lot of ammo. You're always panicked. Always switching weapons, which is cool. It's a cool way. It's balanced to a point where you can, where they force you to use everything you have. And that includes the environment, like you were throwing objects. Like, there will be points where they want you to have no ammo. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
I don't have any... Oh, I do have ammo. Never mind. That a boy. <laughs> Shooting is still very satisfying, I'm noticing. Mm-hmm. But the pacing and tension, they've really upped that since the first game. And it was fantastic in the first one. I've had a lot of practice. Just try to stay in one piece. Thanks. And not a lot of repeated architecture, which I really like. Yeah. Everything seems different. So what do you think it is? Like like I said, I like... Why am I doing this again? Uh, like I said, I liked the, uh, the first Dead Space quite a bit. Didn't really like Dante's Inferno. Which was the other team, the yeah, other I, the other game that Visceral did? I couldn't stand it. It that just seemed like a weird fit for a video game, in in my opinion. And I mean, what do you think it is about Visceral? Like, do you think it's like some of the some of the team there is really ambitious and can make a game like this that's surprising and amazing? Well, in terms of production value, I thought Dante's Inferno was pretty good. It's just I wasn't on board with the the concept or how they yeah. handled you know the the source material. That's loud. That is loud right there. I want to spend my money. Whoa. What do you think you're going to buy? Uh, new armor? I've been playing a lot of RPGs. I don't know. <laughs> a sword? Mouth sword plus one? I mean, I will take any sword that they give me. Oh. A lot more variety in uh, just the appearance of the necromorphs. Just their cosmetics. You're, you're in a rough shot. Okay. Nice trophy. All right. I'm gonna check over here, though. All right. More money. But I played all three versions. All three of them look exactly the same. Yeah. Um, 360 is is um, the version I ended up playing the most. Oh. Oh, that's what that is. That's square. And they do a lot of cool stuff with sound. Like that guy's you, dead. Yeah, you made sure of that. <laughs> um... A lot of sound coming from different rooms that can kind of lead you along, which is pretty cool. I'm actually in the green here for the first time since we started this, I think. I'm amazed. I bet it won't last very long. I think I want to go check over here first. I like how you did that, the waypoint, and then you went the other way. Mm -hmm. You gotta, You gotta look around for stuff. It's no wonder you had so much trouble with this, Reiner. I just got stuck in this room. I didn't know where to go. <laughs> Pulling my hair out. Had no mm -hmm. idea what was going on. Yeah. Crying. You know, I don't sit far from you. If you get if you get stuck like that, you can just come ask me. Again, there's a guy over there. Hey, come over here. Do you trust that those guys? I don't trust him. See? Something bad went down this way. I'm going to go the other way. <laughs> oh, that's that way's closed off. So I think we're going to be leaving the the lab here pretty soon. All right. And there's four difficulty levels and I think you can unlock a fifth. Don't quote me on that, but um, although you were playing on normal and even that seemed Yeah, I would I would say difficult. skilled players like if you know, you handled Dead Space okay and didn't die that much. Do the normal difficulty. Um, if you thought Dead Space was difficult, you might want to do casual. It really turned it up notch. I thought the ca the normal level felt like hard or expert. What if these guys just like to party? <laughs> it's just a rave going on up here that you broke up.
I like that you got a little bit of... I, I mean, it's been a while since I played Dead Space, so maybe this isn't better, any better or worse than the first game, but it seems like you get a little bit of, a little bit more speed than I'm used to from from Dead Space. Like when you, also, like when you hit the from... when you hit the uh, the run button, yeah, it seems like there's more speed. Yeah, and another thing you're not going to see in this demo is the zero gravity uh, that they added. There's, it's almost like flying, like a flying game tied into to Dead Space, where you're you have full movement in a 3D space. Uh, very disorienting kind of action sequences. It's pretty cool. What? I do, where is it telling me to go? Talk to me. It's not telling me to go anywhere. Not yet. You're abusing that button now. I shouldn't have told you about it. Help! So where the hell am I? How did another Necromorph outbreak get started? Nice. When you hit the uh, the health button and you don't have any, it does a little flash of red there to let you know, like, nah, you don't have any of those. Yeah, that's the you're screwed light. I'm going this way. How do you, uh... Alright. Yeah, and they had stuff like this in the first game, but... A lot more variety in the trans transmissions now. You totally destroyed that there's kid's a, airplane. There's a teddy bear right there. Uh, I wonder if I can... There's a robot, man. I'd just like to take him with me. Let's see how far you can take this this teddy bear. Yeah. There should be an achievement, like like that Half-Life 2 achievement for... Uh, dude, where, where did... What? We broke the game again. <laughs> <sighs> no teddy bears allowed past this point. There's that Half-Life 2 achievement, though, for like taking the, the gnome with you the whole way. You're addicted to that button. There's a blue door in front of you, and you hit that button. How many times did you use that button? Did you not use it? I did. I'm not gonna lie to you, Phil. I used it a lot in the uh, in the original. But usually, I'd the way I play this game is I search every environment to find the nodes to upgrade my weapons, find more ammo, find health. It's kind of a necessity while you play yeah. this game. And after I'd do that, if I was if I was still lost or confused as to which way I came from, I'd, I'd hit the button. See, I tend to use it uh, just in the way you were talking about, where I hit the button to see where to go and then go in the opposite direction. Because I'm like, well, obviously I'll have to come back around here. So I would better see if there's something else over here first. <gasps> what? I want to get in there. There's an emergency going on. There we go. Got to make sure they stay dead in this game. That is a, just a gross noise. <laughs> I wonder how they made that. Yeah, the sound design in this has always been really, really great. You gotta wonder what Foley items were used to, to do that. So wait, what am I Okay, doing? hit the button. Hit the button. Now rotate again. Hit the button. Nice. You figured it out. Alright. It's pretty easy. Whoa! What? You just lost your arms and everything. Yeah, that that guy just killed me right to death. Uh, do we want to end there? Sure. Want to close it off? I mean, basically that guy's just gonna kill me over and over again. So why don't you save your game? I'm gonna continue playing. All right, I can I can do that. Uh, so this seems pretty awesome. I loved it. Um, uh, I'm looking forward to it. I'm I'm definitely gonna continue as well. My reviews on the site, I gave it a nine out of ten. Nice. Um, yeah, I thought it was a great sequel, a great follow-up. But uh, especially, you know, look for some scares, look for a challenge. I'll be checking it out. I'm sorry.